In Cambrils, Catalonia, the car used by terror suspects is hauled away after being driven into a crowd of innocent bystanders. Aged from 17 to 28, the five suspects shot dead by Spanish police all came from the same village, Ripoll, nestled in the Spanish Pyrenees. One resident remembers them well. It's true, they were all from here. I knew them since they were children. They went to school with my kids. It's hard. It's very hard to understand how their mentality could have changed so much. The group had fallen under the spell of any mom who had recently moved to Ripoll. He had just been released from prison after serving a sentence for drug trafficking. Bit by bit, he allegedly gained control over the young men, several of whom were brothers. The imam died in an explosion at an apartment while they were planning the 2017 attacks. He led prayers in this mosque, evidently without raising suspicions. Members of the terror cell held down jobs and even played football in this municipal stadium. The radicalization went unnoticed even by these people's closest connections. If even these relations, who spent every day with him, in the center of their private lives, if even they fail to see this radicalization, it would be very difficult for the police to detect it. One year after the attacks, three suspected members of the terror cell are in prison. The police have since learned that the group traveled to Switzerland, France, Belgium and Morocco. Investigators are still trying to determine the extent of their links to the Islamic State group.